Hey guys, it's Grant from Collective, and today I'm going to show you five Power BI report features that'll help take your reports to the next level. A lot of the times when I see Power BI reports, they're essentially just a compilation of visuals instead of a cohesive report. These tips that I'm about to show you today will help your report look more cohesive and professional, as well as make it easier to use. Let's get started. The first tip that I'm going to show you that can help make your report look a little bit better and just add a little extra flair to it is custom backgrounds. In order to get a custom background, you go to the formatting page with no visuals selected, go to canvas background, and then here you can browse for an image. I am going to choose this image uh, of steel coils in the background. So obviously this is a little too much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this transparency and make it a little bit higher. So now we get a little bit of extra flair in the background while all the visuals are still very visible and easy to read. So. Custom backgrounds are a quick way to make your report pop, and they're also very easy to add by just going into the format pane and going to the canvas background section. And here we'll also change this to fit instead of normal to ensure that the image is on the page correctly the way we want it. The second tip I'll be going into is custom themes. Custom themes are very helpful because it is a way to quickly change all the fonts and colors on your report without having to manually go and format each one individually. This is really helpful, especially if you are creating multiple reports that are all part of like the same set of reports. So you're gonna need the same style over and over again. Instead of going into every report and manually formatting every visual to match the cohesive look you're going for, you can create a custom theme and import that and that will automatically change the contents of your report to match your theme. So in order to get a custom theme, you go up to the view tab, you go here to the drop down, and then you will, if you have one created already, you'll go to browse for themes. We'll go here, click on this one. And now we have a new theme for the report that looks a little bit better and more cohesive. As you can tell, the fonts have changed as well as the color palette. And this is a quick and easy way to make your report look more professional and also save time when you're creating multiple reports. The third tip I'm gonna show you guys is a really cool feature where you are able to create visual tool tips. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this top 10 customers by sales visual we're gonna to go to the format pane, go to general, turn on tooltips, go here, uh, click on report page, and then this tooltip page. Now, when I go hover over any of these, it's going to show me the trend of sales by month for each of these customers for the calendar year 2020. This is really helpful because when you look at it through the context of the visual, the tooltip page is automatically filtered to what you're currently looking at in the visual and applies as well as any filters on the page. This is a quick way to gain more insights and just get more use out of your data and your report while saving some space. The next tip I'm going to show you guys is drill through pages. Drill through pages are very helpful for reporting because it gives you an opportunity to provide more detail on another page and allows you to logically drill down and find the root cause of a number going up or down. So here we're gonna go here and we're going to click drill through. This is a very basic example, but here we drilled through the city of Madrid and all you can see here in the filter pane that all of these filters are applied and kept uh, from the original page. So we have the item group one is steel manufacturing, calendar years 2020, and city is Madrid. So this feature ensures that you are always looking at the correct data for the item that you drilled through on. 
And as you can see from this page, we are able to get a much more detailed view of what products are actually selling, their trends over time, and the distribution of products related to sales. This is a really quick way to find the root causes of why your numbers are changing. It's also very easy to use and save space on your report. And to go back, you just click here on the back button and it brings you back to the home page. The next and last tip that I'm going to show you guys is using buttons with bookmarks. Buttons with bookmarks are also a great way to save space and provide more functionality for your user as well as potential information or things they may need to use the report. In the example I'm gonna show you guys, I used an information button with a bookmark. If I go up here and click on this information icon, it shows a bookmark of these little callouts of explaining what exactly each graph does. You can use it for something simple such as this, just letting people know what each graph is showing and what they should be focusing on. And you can also take it as far as if you wanted to change out every visual on this page and make that a bookmark, you could do that as well. It's a really great way to conserve space and not have to create multiple report pages. So I highly recommend using buttons with bookmarks and adding that skill to your Power BI arsenal. And then here we'll go to reset the page and it goes back to normal. So those are the five tips that will help take your Power BI reports to the next level. Thank you guys for watching and please be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions on this video, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And if you need any help with Power BI, please be sure to go to gocollective.com.